Hi, and welcome to Oddsoft and the home of the Radio Age Navigation Tutor. It's a bit of a mouthful, so we call it Rant. Thanks for taking the time to have a look at our software. This setup video will take around 8 minutes. Rant is such a great bit of kit to get you going through the dark arts of instrument flying that it's worth spending a few moments setting up the program to get the maximum training value and so you can replicate your aircraft fit and operate in your local area. In this video, we'll look at a broad overview of RANT and the default map and instrument settings. In later videos, we'll show you how you can create your own procedures and make use of the flight planner. I guess it's not the most exciting way to spend 30 minutes, but once set up your way, it's done forever. So let's get going. This is the startup interface. The file menu allows you to select where in the world you want to fly. The tutorials menu contains all the lessons and there are about 50 of them. The exercises menu lets you practice your skills at a range of radio age tasks and, as many of these may be selected by the computer, you'll never run out of new challenges. Here you'll also find the approach and departure plates. At the bottom of this menu, you can also practice your Morse code and proficiency at mental dead reckoning. In the practice section, you can start anywhere you want, either on the ground or in the air, and fly any profile you like in the map area with access to all the radio aids, as if you were really airborne in the FIR. And you can set the program to start at your own airfield as the default, or if you go to the Start Details menu, you can change to a different airfield and save the position in the start library. In the nav fits area, you can create your own personalized nav setup. We'll come back to that later. In the options menu, you set the defaults to startup and to alter the window size. Rant has got some really powerful tools, which we'll look at in a later video, but this will give you a taste. The Procedures Builder allows you to replicate any arrival, approach or departure plate not covered by RANT. Oddsoft have got together with Jeppesen and you'll find loads of their charts embedded in the program. But you can import any scanned map or approach chart and set up its orientation and scale correctly. The Gazetteer allows you to examine and edit any part of the radio aids environment. The wind component device will resolve the wind into a long and cross track components and deliver drift and ground speed solutions. There is a conversion tool for the most common aviation needs and finally the map editor allows the basic chart to be edited to reflect changes you may wish to make or to create your own airfield. There is no actual necessity to do any of the last stuff. The program will work beautifully from the original defaults. It's just that some people like to get involved more, but you don't have to. RAND can combine with a Garmin GPS to exchange routes, tracks and waypoints. And last but not least, the help file does what it says on the tin. And if you can't find the answer there, then drop us a line. Right, let's get on with setting up this program. Today we're going to set up for Tampa, Florida, so we'll go to the file menu and select the right map, which is the USA Southeast. Most of these selections need only to be made once, matching them to your own aircraft setup and then set as defaults for program start, but of course they can be changed at any time in the future. Let's see what selecting the map has done for us. In the exercise section, you see that the exercises you are given will all be in the area you have chosen and, 
If you have chosen an American map, then by default all the terminology where it differs from other countries will be familiar to American flyers. France and Germany map selection, of course, will ensure that the program is presented in their native languages. Naturally, as you would expect, the practice section starts in your country of choice with a pre-selected but changeable star position. And you may have the option of swapping with a Jefferson area chart. Those start details are found on the next menu and are worth spending a little while examining. Under the flight tab you can change your initial flight conditions of height, heading, airspeed and wind speed, as well as the selected aerodrome for your positioning and navigation setup. So you could create and save a family of different start points for one or more airfields. On the display tab you can customize other features such as whether you want to see the exercise tracks or not. Some instructor pilots like to give these tasks to students and a password protected start means they can't cheat. You just need to visit the page to see all the options that are available. In the map appearance section we can choose how the map appears on startup by increasing degrees of detail. As you may know airway type charts are not the easiest of charts to use and you can load up as much or as little detail as you wish as well as the style of presentation. On the performance page you can decide on rates of turn, your aircraft speeds and other features of the way your aircraft operates in RAND. Most of the time you have the option to select a combined airways and topographical chart instead of the basic map and you'll be able to swap between them in the program. In a later video we'll show you how to register other maps you have scanned for use in RAND. Finally, in this section, you can determine your fuel usage rate from a selection of popular aircraft or you can create your own aircraft file elsewhere in the program. Once you've gone through this process, and you only need to do this if you want to change the start parameters, you can save and move on. The nav section is where things get a bit tastier and you can replicate the program to exactly match your instruments or you can become a wannabe and select the latest glass cockpit presentation. Let's go and select a very basic system and see how it appears in the practice section. Now we are able to play around and make the screen instruments look as close as we can to the aircraft we actually fly. We can change just about every detail of each instrument just see in this series of shots how I'm able to change the colors, styles and features of the HSI and the RMI. Even the way the compass is shown can be changed. I can save it as my aircraft and make it load as the default. As I said before, you don't have to do this, but it does give you a familiar feel about the program and is worth spending a few moments paying attention to detail. It's important here not to confuse the instruments, which is one set of choices, and the navigation aids that may be presented, which is another. For example, you may have one or two VORs with or without an ADF. One of the most frustrating things about using the ADF in nearly all installations is that the needle is subject to dip when the wings are not level. In other words, it gives the wrong relative bearing. And we need to know about this and allow for it. RANT is the only simulation package that incorporates dip, but you can take it out if you prefer to start without it. Let's now go to the Options menu, and then Defaults, and you can see that certain choices have been made for you. The Procedure Library contains Jefferson Instrument Approach Plates for selected airfields in the map area. The Start Point is the default start position for the map, but you can make any number of start points and access them from the Start Details menu. The same can be said of the NavFit, where you can choose from the simplest heritage compass the latest integrated glass cockpit display, modify and save them for quick access later, as shown earlier. Other choices include the window size and language selection. You're all ready to go now having completed the program setup and in future videos you'll see how the program works through the tutorial system, the exercises and the practice mode. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line. 
Thanks for watching.